Mouth to Undertale 3D Long ago, two races ruled over Earth, humans and monsters. One day, war broke out between the two races. No one's really sure what they were fighting about, but hey, war nonetheless. After a long battle, the humans were victorious. Not really sure how they won the battle, but then again, anything's possible. They sealed the monsters underground with a magical spell. So they had wizards many years later. And technically, can the monsters get out anywhere with their own magic? But then, of course, there was barrier. Legend says those who climb the mountain never return, but since when do little kids listen to the stories or legends? It turns out the word that was causing these disappearances were none than the root that kept making people trip and fall down the hole. This is where the story of Alice in Wonderland came from. I don't know if it really did, but hey. Loving the new opening for Undertale 3D. I love the the fact that the way it moves. That I'm definitely loving. I hope the dev keeps that. That's really gorgeous. Okay, so here we are. There's a mysterious X. Let's talk to it. Hey there, I'm Red X. Yep, the game's developer. I'll leave a couple of these X's throughout the map just to clarify a couple of things and let you know about others. For example, did you notice the camera now passes through objects? The method I used for the demo doesn't work now, but don't worry, it'll be fixed. Okay. It would help if I could see stuff. Mr. X, I appear to be lost. It is very dark. I don't have a torch. Gosh darn it, the pillars are keeping me hostage. Okay, so this must be the way. Hello? Hello, anybody out here? I'm clicking, I cannot see anything. If I keep clicking, I'll eventually get something. I okay, I'm still moving. It would be awesome to be able to see what is going on over here. Am I moving? Oh. I have movement. Hello, I've returned. What is going on? As you can see, Larry doesn't react to anything you do yet. This is because the animations were all remade, but the script they used to control those wasn't. You can, however, try some dodging animations on Frisk. Uh, try pressing T, Y, or U. Okay, T, Y, or U. Okay. You'll hover so until you go to another scene, though. Okay, so. T, Y, U. Oh, U. Oh, yeah. Uh. Ooh. Oh, look at that, everybody. I can fly. Whee! Flying frisk. Awesome. What's over here? I'm looking for any openings. Maybe there's something over here. Uh, nope, nope, nope. Doesn't appear to be anything here. The floor is right. Let's go up here. Ooh, hello. Oh, 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 more X's. Let's click them. This design of the ruins changed drastically this last month. I already had four rooms consisting of closed spaces, bright colours, and even with a ceiling. I didn't like it, so I made this. Some of you won't like it, but it's one of those things I'm not willing to change. Fair enough, I like it. Go for it, keep it. It looks gorgeous. Very nicely done. Okay, let's get this. I made this music myself, but it's not good enough in my opinion. It'll be changed in the future. I think it's okay. It's alright, it's fine. Oh, is this a save? Knowing this game might someday get finished, fills you with determination. Error, saves ah. I love the animation on the leaves, that is really nicely done. Can I interrupt with this? This looks gorgeous. Oh, hello. Well, that's all I've got for now. I also had Therese modded, but without textures, only 20% done of the battle against her. But I don't want to show you that. It'll be a surprise until the final release, but here you have some other models to admire. By going through the blue box in front of you, the game will close. If you go about the scenes, we'll reset your position. I, I'm not using a spawning system yet. Okay. C can, can we actually have control, like, on the camera? Um, oh. Wait, I can have a look at Frisk. Alright, can, can we get, like, a better look at these models? Can I, like, 
I can't interrupt the models. I was like, all right, this is um, my dummy. This is Froggit. <gasps> oh, this is, oh, I can't remember these guys called. <gasps> oh, no, Napsablook. Oh, it's Whimsome. And Jelly. Oh, yum. Can, can I eat the jelly? Oh, yum. Uh, oh, wait, it's not Jelly. I know what this is. Never mind. <laughs> it's one of the monsters. It's them, the, uh, the amiibo, ami the weird, um, jelly thing. Oh, they look cool. You see the book? You look so adorable. Hi there, friend. Hi. Oh, um, can't get through you. Okay, so let's click, um, the last X. Okay. I want to thank, uh, Marianne and Anton for their contribution to the Patreon. Also, every single YouTuber played the demo. Thank you all as well. Thank you for letting me use your music and thank you player for caring enough to play this and finish abomination it's not an abomination it, i actually really very much like this it's very nicely done oh i like whimsome whimsome looks cool the only thing i would advise with whimsome is that whimsome is missing the wings on the back of them i'm not sure is it possible to put wings on them or is like they their model didn't have the wings so that's the only thing missing from Whimsome is the way. Froggy looks fantastic. I like his um design on his belly. And this bit here is not Mad Dummy. This is the other dummy. I got it wrong. And Blookie, Blookie, Blookie just looks looks adorable. Blookie looks fabulous. Look at the face of Whimsome. First looks fantastic as well. I like the, the different hairstyle for Frisk. That's really nice. Okay, so... We have to end it, really? I don't want to end it. Can I, can I go back? I can double back. Aha! Is there any secrets? Can I double back again? Oh my gosh, I can. Oh my god, let's go back. Oh. <gasps> I did it! Ooh. Now, I saw text over here somewhere. Gosh, Johnny. There's something about darkness. Uh, it's really dark. Uh, I see, I see I'm flurry can't talk. I think over this is very well done. I'm looking forward to the full version of the... Um, Undertale 3 and on top of that Undertale 3D will actually be fully voiced as well uh, And then guys, I'll see you next time in more Undertale fan games the link below in the description to this wonderful game Of um, Undertale 3D I didn't know the creator had a patron so there'll be a link to his patron as well down below in the description if I can find it Anyway, bye guys. Thanks for watching